Investigators have dismantled an international sex trafficking organization with ties to Minnesota. Hundreds of women were flown from Thailand with fraudulent visas and forced to work as sex slaves to pay off thousands of dollars in debts. 17 people were indicted, 13 are behind bars, including the organization's boss. She was arrested in Belgium. WCCO's Reg Chapman has more on the case that took more than two years to crack. For many years, these defendants recruited young women in Thailand to travel to the United States to engage in commercial sex. They were told they could come to America for a better life. The victims, who were called flowers by the criminal organization, were essentially held prisoner once they arrived in the United States. The indictment identifies 17 people responsible for sex trafficking and fraud. The organization was sophisticated. It used fraudulent visas to get the women into the U.S. Some would have bondage debts of more than $40,000, and having sex for cash was the only way to pay it off. Their services were advertised on Backpage. This trafficking organization was hierarchical. It consisted of traffickers, house bosses, facilitators, and runners. They were shuttled from city to city, Atlanta, Dallas, Washington, D.C., and Minneapolis, and made to pay for their travel and expenses. Locally, they would set up shop near airport hotels, but others were working out of day spas and homes and apartments across the Twin Cities. And so what were the signs that we could have looked at and that the neighbors might have seen? Bea Minento was an attorney with Advocates for Human Rights. She says the prosecution of this international case sends a strong message to those who want to victimize others. If we can respond to this really complex case, then we can respond to the other cases that um, are just within Minnesota. Reg Chapman, WCCO, 4 News. Minneapolis is one of 12 cities across the country designated as an anti-trafficking coordination team city. Manito says that giving people a pathway to report human trafficking is important. And we've put more information on WCCO.com links to get help if you're a victim or you know someone who is.